Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Patagonian Giants When Europeans traversed the Magellan Strait in 1520, reports had been received of the tall robust inhabitants found along its eastern coast, known today as the Aonikink. Estimates of their height varied, but they were usually said to be tall, sometimes enormously so. For example, here is Ferdinand Magellan's chronicler, Antonio Pigafetta, Pinkerton, 1812, pages 314 and 316. One day when the least we expected anything of the kind, a man of gigantic figure presented himself before us. The man was of such immense stature that our heads scarcely reached to his waist. And, later, the captain was anxious to transport a race of giants to Europe. With this view, he ordered the two others to be arrested. Nine of our strongest men were scarcely able to cast them to the ground and bind them, and still even one of them succeeded in freeing himself. Scientists discovered hundreds of ancient earthworks which resemble those at Stonehenge and were built in the Amazon rainforest. These discoveries have been made due to modern deforestation of Amazon, which has allowed at least 450 earthworks to emerge from the undergrowth. They were discovered after scientists from the UK and Brazil flew drones over last year. It's interesting to note that the format of these glyphs, with an outer ditch and inner wall enclosure, are what classically describes henge sites. This discovery reverses assumptions that the rainforest grounds have been untouched by humans. Also, it appears that the same people that built the Stonehenge in England have built these henges all around the world, and they have inhabited America long before the discovery of Christopher Columbus, who was actually a member of Jesuits, which is Vatican's secret society. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. By the way, I've covered this before, and now I'll give you a clearer picture. This is an engraving depicting the celebration organized in Paris, 1612, at the Place Royale, showing both people and giants attending the parade, and some other interesting creatures. There is no gluten intolerance. Most grains are grown in nutrient-poor soil, and are subjected to numerous pesticides and herbicides. The mankind has been eating grains and bread since the dawn of time. There has even been a prayer written about it. You know the one that goes like God, give us this day our daily bread. Think about it. Most of the flour we consume is bleached and rancid, because it sits in factories or storages for months, or even years, before we use it. Also commercial baked goods generally use refined sugars and fats, or get fried in highly toxic vegetable oils which cause ailments. In fact, gluten found in grains is one of the most important proteins that you can consume, and it actually lowers your possibility of having diabetes due to the fiber it contains. Just make sure the wheat is 100% organic, without any chemical treatments.
During the World War II era, the German archaeologists found many ancient artifacts in Egypt and Tibet. Among the findings was presumably an ancient Stargate portal. Interesting thing is that these artifacts cannot be found today in any museum in the world. Take a look at this. Looks like someone knows the deal. Just rebrand old tech as magic. Then call magic pseudoscience. The methods of rewriting and erasing history are extremely simple. Another method is the insertion of advanced tech into sci-fi shows and movies to make it increasingly unbelievable in the minds of the population. One could theorize that old terms for magic and wizardry used to refer to technology rather than supernatural phenomena. Speaking of the term supernatural, that term in itself could have simply been used when a peasant population didn't yet understand something an advanced civilization does. Imagine traveling back in time to the 1500s with your aircraft and floating over Germany for 30 minutes, then traveling back to the present. Here is the exact thing that would happen. Your aircraft would become mythology just like the rest of the weird shit they saw over the years. As a 1500s tyrannical leader, it is absolutely essential to mythologize this event over time, because the people's authority will shift to the thing they saw in the sky instead of you. Therefore, every suspicious event in history is converted to mythology. It is to preserve the current empires. Mythology is the great hider of important historical events and people. As a summary, here are the damage control methods of editing history. Rebranding as magic. Is someone influencing people to have seizures? Is someone going around using advanced technology you don't want your people knowing about? Call him a wizard, a magic user. Write in the history books that he was falsely hung for it. Rebranding as mythology. Did someone fly their airship over a no-fly zone where your peasant civilization is supposed to be kept oblivious to them? Just slowly start converting the event into mythology and symbolism. Demonize anyone who challenges you. Hiding advanced tech, methods in fiction. Do you have an advanced ray gun, or an advanced healing method, that you don't want your peasant population knowing about? Just insert them alongside all the made-up garbage in your sci-fi books and movies. None of them will suspect they are real if they saw it on Star Wars. Redefine their language. Does your peasant population keep referencing advanced technology in their books? Just slowly change the meanings of the words they use to describe the advanced technology. Magic shall now mean fictional energy phenomena instead of currently unknown advanced technology. The brute force method. This can only be done under highly specific circumstances when your people are under the right worldviews. This is when you wipe out an entire civilization threatening your power and control. These are the current damage control methods I am aware of. Let me know if you have more methods. Look at this painting. Isn't this painting the exact thing you'd expect a primitive population to make if you drove your advanced aircraft above them? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.